Hello YouTube, um, it's James here, and today I'm going to be showing you my Melbourne uh, W tram that I have. It's a tin plate model, and it's a wind-up one. And here it is. Now I am going to be uh, changing how this looks. I'm modeling it after the W2 a uh, tram that's in uh, Dallas, Texas. I've actually ridden on it. It's car 369. And of course here here's the model and this was not originally meant to run on O scale track. You would just kind of have it run on the floor because the front truck was fixed and so is the rear truck but um, this one has a swivel on it now so it actually turns. And the back one, the way that the uh, motor drive is it couldn't have a wheel over here, so I'm going to be putting a, a fake one or a, or a blind wheel here, so it'll actually look like it, you know, it has it when it doesn't. And of course, it's a very nicely, uh, well, not even really nicely made. It's it's nice to look at. It's not very nice to to hold. It's 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 a cheap tin toy, you know, and uh, all that. And I've made some modifications to it, such as these little. Uh, it used to have. Um, panographs. Of course, I changed these to look like uh, poles by bending them in, so that way they can actually, and they are sprung, they can go up and down, although it only runs in one direction, and I have fully wound it. There's the little key it comes with. So we're going to see how it goes. One, two, three, click the switch, and... There it goes. And as you see, no power. Purely wind up. And that's about it as far as it'll uh, go. But yeah, the, the wheels it already came with were, well, they are. O gauge specifically, they can fit on a uh, three rail track, although it, it works a lot better on tin plate track than uh, this fast track. But I do like it, and I'll show you guys uh, what it'll look like once I am done with it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys uh, again very, very soon.